Hi everyone, it's it's me again. Um, <laughs> by now you're probably wondering why this guy keeps making videos, but um, well, I last video I, I talked about my vocation story, and um, this time I want to talk about I want to go deeper into discernment, and um, by now I, I hope that whoever whoever out there is uh, interested in the priesthood, you've you've started your prayer life or you're continuing your prayer life. But I think the one thing that comes up in discernment of the priesthood is deciding between religious life or diocesan life. And with religious life, you know, everyone focuses on the charisms or the pillars of each religious order. So like there's prayer or studies or, or uh, even missionary work in the religious orders. And the one question that comes up is, what is the charism of the diocesan priest? And I was asked that one time and I sat there for a second because I never really thought of it before. Um, I, you know, I just felt called to Las Vegas, but I never really understood what or even thought about what the charism is. And I realized that the charism of the diocesan priest is Jesus Christ through the sacraments. And the reason I say that is because as a diocesan priest, we're the ones that confect the bread and the wine during the Mass to become the body and the blood of Jesus Christ, the number one sacrifice that God gave to us to save us and, and, and save us and save our souls and bring us to everlasting life with Him. And we do that on a daily basis and think about how many souls, the thousands that diocesan and priests will, will impact Think about how many confessions that we will hear. Think about how many baptisms, how many confirmations we'll witness, how many marriages we'll witness. We're, we're the ones that are answering the sick calls at two in the morning. Um, and we our, our, our job as diocesan and priests is to literally bring Jesus Christ to the world. And, and that is such a beautiful, beautiful vacation. And, and if if you feel if that doesn't if that doesn't convince you, then I just want to share with you that a few weeks ago, the Las Vegas seminarians. There's only eight of us. Um, we had dinner with Bishop Thomas, and he told us he shared with us that when he got the call from the papal nuncio or the Holy See ambassador to the United States, the nuncio told him that the reason why he was being appointed to Las Vegas was because there was a crisis here in the diocese. And that crisis is that there is a severe shortage of priests in the diocese. And he's absolutely right. We have parishes in the rural areas of our diocese that don't have a priest in residence. We maybe have a priest that comes every once in a while to celebrate mass and then for the rest of the time there, the parishioners there, the people in those towns out in rural Nevada don't have the opportunity to attend mass or or go to confession, and that's that's so tragic that we have so many souls. Our diocese here has over 800,000 Catholics, and unfortunately, we only have less than 80 priests. And I was I was told by one of our seminarians he happens to be the next in line to be ordained within a few years, God willing, and he told me that in the next three years before he's ordained around a third of our priests will reach retirement age and he'll be the only ordination we have and that is so unsustainable um, we are really lacking in priests here and if you feel that the priesthood is is your calling if you feel that god is calling you i, I strongly encourage you i strongly encourage you to prayerfully consider becoming a priest for this diocese where the people of god need you the most and, and with any other vocation, whether married life, religious life, the number one important thing we have to do is continue to pray. And pray and ask God that He, he will guide us wherever wherever He wants us to go. And I said in my last my last video that we are inclined at times as human beings to, to follow our own wishes and our own desires. But the number one thing is that we have to listen to God. Even Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, for us and his agony in the garden said father if you will take this cup from me but let 
your will be done and not mine. Even in those moments of agony, he remembered that his father was the one that wanted him to die on the cross for us to sacrifice himself for humanity. And as diocesan priests, we will celebrate Mass every day to bring that ultimate sacrifice of love to the whole world. So I, I strongly consider you to pray and ask God to guide you. And if the priesthood is for you, please consider the diocesan priesthood in Las Vegas. Thank you so much. God bless. And if you need, if you have any questions, please talk to the priest in your parish. Talk to myself. Talk to any of the seminarians you know. And from there, God will always guide you and protect you. Thank you.